You look around the universe, round is a thing. Unless, of course, you know, you are a, how shall we say, uh, an alternate thinker. Someone who likes to embrace the unusual. Something yeah. with the word flat in yeah, it. Yeah, you like discs. <laughs> you believe in discs. When I use the word round, I'm referring to basically something that's spherical. Right. Okay. Because technically a circle is round. Yes. But if you say circle, it's a circle. There's no circles in the universe. Right. Okay. Right. Everything They're has a spheres. Shape. They're, they're three dimensional. They're three dimensional. Right. 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 Even a black it, hole isn't a circle. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's spherical. It's right. right. But the point is, in the universe, mm -hmm. forces conspire to make round things. Nice. So, let's start with soap bubbles. I mean, when we're talking about the universe, why not? Why I mean, not? Yeah, that's. No... When was the last time you saw a triangular soap bubble? Never. Okay. No. I'm so sad now. I'm very sad because, because I've have... never seen a triangular soap bubble. <laughs> or a cube. And, or a cube. And now I want to see both of those so bad. I don't know what to do. In a soap bubble, you have this film. Right. And the film wants to be as small as possible. Okay. Now, if there's any part of the film that's sticking out, mm -hmm. it says to itself, I can make it smaller than that. So all parts of the film want to make the whole structure as small as possible. Okay. And there's only one shape that accommodates that, and that's a sphere. Now here's what's interesting. Mm -hmm. For a given amount of material, mm -hmm. surface, mm -hmm. the shape that contains the largest volume is a sphere. Okay, got you. I see what that's you're saying. That's an interesting that is. fact. Okay. Okay. So if you have a nice spherical fruit, mm -hmm. okay, I'm hungry now. If you make that any other shape, right, it's going to bust out the side. I know that because I have stepped on many oranges. <laughs> Why doesn't the orange just right? Just quit? It, no, no, no. It's just it <laughs> right out the side. <laughs> right out the side. Exactly. Okay. This thing with spheres, uh, what it also does is brings the material inside of it as close to itself as it can possibly be. Nice. Once you start flattening it out, the parts that are farther away from other parts than they would otherwise be if it was in a sphere. Okay. Okay? Okay. By the way. Right. Have you ever seen a cold pigeon? I don't think I've ever seen a warm pigeon. <laughs> okay. So I'm not. You don't know the difference. I don't okay. know what the difference okay. is. Okay, if you look at birds in general. Right. They're warm-blooded. Yes. How do they stay warm? The bird gets as round as it possibly can. Oh. Just take a look at that's a right. pigeon in the cold. Yeah. It is round. They puff up. They puff they're, up and they're, they're round. round as they can, yes. And that way there are no extremities at risk. They've, they've reduced how flat or extended they would otherwise be. So even cold pigeons want to be round. Nice. For thermodynamic reasons. Yeah. Cold okay. pigeon sounds like the worst hood <laughs> liquor. <laughs> That cold you would, pigeon. It's like, you know, what's you drinking? Worse than cold duck? Yeah, worse than cold duck. <laughs> cold pigeon. Oh, man, I can't afford cold duck. You must be rich. <laughs> I'm drinking cold pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> if you gather matter together in the universe, you can say, well, what shape will it take? Well, if it's rock, the rock is happy being a rock. Okay. Most asteroids just look like rocks. True. Some of them may be Idaho potatoes, but they're not spherical. Right because they don't have enough gravity to overcome the rock. Right. The structural integrity of the rock is what's determining the shape of the asteroid. Above a certain size, the gravity of all the material overcomes whatever the rock wants to do by itself. Mm. And the high places, the material will fall into the low places, mm -hmm. and this will continue until basically you have a sphere on your hands. Look at that. So, one of the criteria for the definition of a planet uh -huh. is, is it big enough to be a sphere? Right. Pluto satisfies that criterion. Uh-oh, watch out. But <laughs> Might have to make a retraction. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, there are other rules. Pluto fails, but it satisfies that one. Of being round. Be On being round. Uh -huh. It has enough mass for it to structurally because this is gravity at work. Gravity says, everybody come to the center. Mm -hmm. And there's only one shape that can get the most number of people as close to the center as they can possibly be. And that's, and that's a sphere. A sphere. Right. Exactly. 
Pluto's moon is even a sphere. Wow. Charon. Charon! Let's keep going. The sun. Mm-hmm. It's got badass gravity. Yes. And it's got gas. Yes. It's holding on to its gas. <laughs> With... <laughs> I'm sorry. The sun holds, generally holds its gases. Yes. Occasionally there are effluences, which we call solar flares. Yes. Okay? Exactly. All right. So, well, the gas, it's trying to get to the center of the sun, too. Everybody's trying to get to the center of the gravity. The shape that results from that is a sphere. Okay. Period. That's it. That's all it is. All right. And this persists for every star, for every planet, for large non-planets like Pluto. You know, Pluto got demoted with these this new rule, but there's an asteroid that got promoted. Okay. The asteroid Ceres. Ceres. The largest, the largest asteroid, asteroid. Okay. Named for the goddess of harvest. Okay. Ceres was the only spherical asteroid. Right. So it satisfied the sphere criterion, but it didn't satisfy the other two. So we it graduated to dwarf planet. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Pluto got demoted, others got promoted, and now they got a new family. And they got a new family, right. dwarf planet. Okay, so now the laws of surface tension help us create soap bubbles. Right. It's also what beads up liquid if you just waxed your car. Right. It wants to be a sphere. Right. So bad. And every part that's not touching the car is round. All right. Exactly. All right. If you dripped liquid in zero G. Right. Surface tension, pop, pop that into a sphere right, right, right away. Straight away. Yeah. There's a scene in Star Trek. I know what you're talking about, where they shoot. They, they shoot the, Kling the, the, the Klingons the, in right. the room. In the, and and they're, they're in one zero the G because they turned off the artificial gravity in the ship. You, and the blood. The blood spews, spews out. out. All in big droplet forms that are round. Spherical blood. Yeah. And people after that said, that's weird. They must have weird blood. No, your blood would do that too. Right. In zero G. Right. But in one G, the blood goes down and drops on the ground. Right. Okay. Now, in zero G, you can make an arbitrarily large blob of liquid unless you bring it into any kind of G at all. And then the gravity overcomes the surface tension and it flattens out. That's why you can't just haul a blob of water out of the ocean and put it in a, in a display case as a sphere. Right. Earth's gravity overcomes that. Right. It's a contest of forces at all times. Uh, Earth's gravity overcomes the rocks. The sun's gravity overcomes the gas. Everybody gets a sphere out of this. So in the universe, you have exceptions to this when you have rapidly rotating objects. Okay. Guess what happens to them? Uh, they flatten out. They flatten out. Mm -hmm. Saturn rotates once every something like 10 hours. Wow. Saturn is big and it rotates twice as fast as we do. That's My boy's flattened. Yes. 10% flattened. It's 10% shorter pole to pole than side to side. Wow. Next time you look at a photo, check that out. It's, you can notice you can it easily notice it, right. with, with your eyes. Okay. How about the rings? Are the rings rotating at the same rate as the planet? No, or, no, no. They're rotating. Are they rotating in the planet no, independently? No, no, no. The, according to their own orbital Each physics. Each one of them has their own right. orbital okay. physics. So why aren't they a sphere? Well, when the moon formed, because we got slammed by a protoplanet proto -planet. in the early universe, right. in the early solar system, we had a ring of debris. Mm -hmm. But some debris was a little larger than other debris, which means it had a little bit more... Gravity. gravity than the other. Right. If you have a little bit more, then you get a little extra Wrong. stuff. Now you have even more gravity. Come join me. One of <laughs> us. One of <laughs> us. And so this is a runaway process. Right. So the ring coalesces to become a, the moon a, itself. The, our moon itself. Wow, that's great. Yeah. And so you get the sphere ultimately. Right. And one of the saddest moments in my professional life was reading a research paper on the dynamics, the orbital dynamics of the particles in Saturn's rings. And they said it's a temporary phenomenon. Oh. That was sad. That is. That means Saturn's going to lose its rings. Yes, and that it probably oh. didn't have its rings 10 million years ago, which meant the dinosaurs, if they had telescopes they and had looked at the Saturn, it would have had no rings. Look at that. That's sad. That is sad. That's sad. Mm. So I wrote a whole essay 25 years ago called On Being Round. On Being Round. I think it's online, too. Just nice. Go on Being Round and Tyson. So search the grass, just in case Mike Tyson did something round. Nice. Or, or you just heard this, so you don't even need to read exactly. this. Exactly. It's a 2,000-word essay. Right. And, and for all of you disc lovers, you flat disc lovers, there you go. This is why 
you know, what you believe is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the flat Earth folk. Yeah. yeah. So, so, and our galaxy is very flat. Right. Okay. When it formed, right. The material falling from the top and the bottom was gaseous. It stuck together in the mid plane and then formed stars there. Right. Because gas clouds don't have it. They stick together like hot marshmallows. Right. Touching in midair. Yeah. So, whenever you find something that's not a sphere, there's a fascinating reason why that's the case. But the the natural state of the universe is, and black holes, there's non-rotating black holes. Is if you want to rotate it, it will flatten out, right. as rotating things do, and you'll get like a torus or a donut. Uh, no. So rapidly rotating black holes are actually donuts, okay. which are still kind of round. Yeah, exactly. In their own way. Yeah. 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 All right, dude. That was fun. Okay. On, On be being round. Being round. Yet another explainer in Star Talk.